Hey guys, welcome to Top Channel 101, and today we're going to be making this here. So this is a render that I found on Pinterest, and there are a lot of amazing renders, and what I'm trying to do is turn them into animations, because they are most done with Photoshop, because they are just for uh, posters and banners most of the time. Uh, they look really, really interesting, and I, I always want to see how they would look in uh, as an animation so yeah i'm going to leave links to this page this is by uh i think it's called ahmed mokta so we're going to use blender and uh, basically this is what we turn it into uh, just a simple animation so if you have a gig for something like this maybe this tutorial could help you out so let me jump in into the project and uh, get started and you can see that there but uh, yeah let me just Look at that. Uh, I'm going to do a quick run through of the project and then I can do a step by step explanation of the things that uh, might, you might want to learn. Okay, so so what I did is just make the bottle very easily from a circle. 12 of what says is enough. Then just extrude uh, this into the shape you want. It doesn't have to be perfect. Something like that. And then I created the grape, which was just uh, another circle. Uh, this time with uh, even fewer what says, something like five uh, with the subdivisions. I'm using very few vertices because I know I'm going to need a lot of detail um, using the, the polygon count. And uh, now what I'm going to do is make a copy of this. I can actually just have it here Add a new particle system. We don't want any gravity. And let me use shift N to recalculate my normals. I'll go to the velocity, bring that to zero. The next thing we can change the render to object and select this and select this object. So you see what we have, we can increase the size and I make sure this is, the origin of this is to the center. I can turn off the emitter so I can see everything. And I want the emission to be in volume, to emit, to emit by volume like that. Uh, we can add in some random rotation and make, it, make this dynamic, have some angular rotation as well. Then we can add in a, a vortex force, force field vortex. Just like that, you can see. Yeah, now I'm going to use about 3,000 particles. Maybe 2,000 is enough. Then, now we don't want them to just pop into existence. So we're going to add a new texture. So let's go to the textures, new textures. Go into that and use a blend. Go to the colors. Uh, you can use a color ramp. And uh, basically we can use this to determine uh, how these come into existence. So at a value of black, it means that uh, the scale of this object is going to be at zero and uh, time goes on it can go back to its full scale which is one uh, as it dies we want to scale it back just like that and uh, we can go to the mapping change that from generated to strand or particle uh, you, you need to go under influence and change this to size so that our ramp affects just the size now you can see that uh, things pop into existence and then out of existence but uh, the particles are going out of this uh, bottle i'm going to scale it down using alt s to push it in a bit we have this inside this and uh, we can give this outer shell or outer bottle a collision modifier or collision property and now these collide with uh, that object we want these to be rotating inside the bottle and not trying to leave so yeah, just like that, I think. And maybe increase uh, the lifespan to something like 100, maybe randomize it a bit. Let's increase uh, the particle count. Yeah, you can see the shape forming. Make sure that no particles are being emitted outside the, coll the collider. That's how I got that. And if you want to add, add the smaller bumps on this, all you have to do is just create something like a cube, give it a subdivision surface and let's apply the subdivision surface a shade smooth and just shrink the bottom part a bit can even hit f to turn it into a single face so that you reduce the the polygon count i just like that make sure that the pivot point is at the bottom there now here we can come here and uh, just do use let me to not actually let me go to the projects to the original project yeah you can see where is this i have three meshes uh, one for these extra particles. This is my collider, you can see, and here is my emitter. We want to add a detail onto this, so I'm going to come here, and I can see that uh, I'm using geometry nodes for that, and uh, that's very simple. After you make the shape, I was showing you to make this here, you just distribute a bunch of points, and then instance 
this onto that uh, the rotation is just going to be uh, just the rotation from the particles and then randomize uh, the scalar bit realize the instances and then join them back to the main object and you have your grip uh, if you don't realize the instances they will not show up here so make sure you realize them you realize them so basically the settings here i don't think i have any extra settings that i use that i haven't talked about that's how i did that and i just saw to make sure my viewport is responsive i'm just going to disable that this in the viewport but in the render it will be fine the other part was uh these extra leaves uh, so the leaves are just i have this here i have this uh, simple mesh very simple uh, even the materials for these is very very simple uh, i just added some randomization the relief is also not too complicated the ice uh, this is the shader not that complicated it's just a glass with some roughness and a bump uh, the animation is also not too complicated i basically duplicated this particle system for the grips but uh, this time i made sure that these the emitter was outside the collider object so the particles were free to shoot out under under the physics at the velocity i have a normal velocity of 10 so that they are pushed out to make sure that they don't get pushed out too far i also increased the drag and dump in the physics panel uh, for both the first particle system and the this leaf particle system uh, this leaf particle system is using a collection of uh, the leaves the ice cube and this grape here so the way they're animating is based off this force here is what is animating them this uh, vertex force is animating them to rotate around this object uh, that was most of it uh, maybe the other thing i did yeah they also have the same texture this texture here uh, so they start out small increase to the uh, maximum size and then shrink back mm -hmm. and because we have that rotation from the vortex we get that rotation as well yeah the the cube the ice cube is just a, a cube with a subdivision and uh, some displacement texture and then the ice material uh this here this radio object is just something i did in geometry nodes and i guess i could show you that so uh, i just start out with a mesh circle like this with a few sides split that so that i can uh, split these edges uh, and scale them down yeah, like that then i extrude them out but i wanted the outer edges to be wider so i scaled them using the top selection here i like that and i gave that a material uh, the material is very simple it's just uh, I don't know, um, an emission with transparency uh, so that they fade as they spread out and uh, the way I made them to spread out, I just used a gradient texture with the option of uh, spherical. And uh, I'm using the object position to at center, to center the gradient at the pivot point. The last thing I could talk about is this paper here. I animated that using shape keys. So I have the best shape key and then uh, this final shape key. And basically just moved the bunch bunch of what says to have this spread out into that and then rotated this using animation and that's it thanks for watching if you want to get the project files they're going to be on gumroad and my patreon page all links are in the description